today might be a really bad day. Um, I don't know if you guys have either seen or even heard about this before, but really recently someone on YouTube ended up making a pretty crazy video where they essentially build Steam configs that do everything that you could possibly think of for you. This would include things like jitter aiming, instant armor swapping, instant neo strafing, automated like bunny hopping, wall jumps, mantle jumping. Someone made a config for every possible thing that you could imagine. And as you would probably guess, it took Twitter by storm millions of views in just 24 hours. And because of that, the community kind of came together and said, you guys, Apex, need to get rid of Steam configs because this is allowing players to completely, essentially cheat, right? Like that's what aimbot is. Aimbot is no recoil, you know, cheats, hacks, whatever you want to call it all these things for you in these steam configs get away with everything because it's using it through steam and not some third party like weird kind of cheat soft i don't know how to explain it anyways today loki ross posted on twitter that he hopped into the apex legends firing range tried to tap strafe it automatically crashed his game and now he can't tap strafe on controller anymore for those of you who don't know loki ross a phenomenal content creator really awesome guy over on the soar content team he also plays controller but i don't know if he regularly really tap stripes on controller like me or someone else like ecstasy or someone like that so today what we're going to be doing is we're actually going to go hop into the range and we are going to effectively see if they got rid of tap strafing on controller like apex never posted anything on twitter um about them removing tap strafing or anything like that it, it was kind of just something that kind of just popped up all right three two one go No shot. It's disabled. They actually disabled it. Let's see. If I open up, so here's my controller layout. So here's my controller layout. What I do for tap strafing on controller is I click in left thumbstick, jump and turn. And as you can see right here, there is no more tap strafing on controller in apex legends what loki ross over here said on twitter is roller tap strafing has been removed i went to the range did it once and the server immediately crashed i restarted apex and now i can't tap strafe i'd be happy if it stayed like this forever thank you but y'all should tell us basically what we would do to kind of figure out if it actually is disabled is you would come on over here you click on this controller icon and then you'd be able to activate your steam binds this way now it's weird because it still shows that you can use the steam binds here usually if a game disabled steam binds you wouldn't even really be able to use it over here so i wonder if they disabled steam binds so that's interesting i mean if i switch over here i play mouse and keyboard i can still tap strafe on mouse and keyboard so yeah, wow, that's actually kind of crazy. Apex is about to lose a massive portion of their player base, like not gonna lie, especially on PC. Okay, is this something that I agree with? Like, do I think this was a good idea from Apex? I think in the short term, it's not a bad idea because that whole Steam config thing is insane issue, especially with the person posted, like all the things that he was able to accomplish, massive, massive issue. But at the same time, I think that this is completely stupid and like fucked up that now controller players can't take advantage of the single most broken thing in the game, which is tap strafing. I think if they are going to affect Steam binds, or rather, I think if they are going to like completely remove tap strafing in general, can I hold on? Can I spam inspect? I can still sp hold on and i use steam configs for this so they didn't necessarily disable steam configs what they've done is they've disabled tap strafing for mouse and keyboard so that is really weird i wonder if people are going to be able to find a way to get around this because in my steam settings i have a steam config that whenever i hold the right bumper it inspects on a keyboard and it's not using a controller inspect and it's spamming the controller bind no it's instead spamming a keyboard input so that is very weird that one steam config works and another one doesn't what has me thinking right now is are there a whole bunch of other steam configs that currently still work but all they did was they disabled somehow a controller tap strafe very weird 
I don't think that this is a good idea from Apex because yes, obviously, you know, there's advantages and disadvantages to using a particular input. But when you look at all of the advantages that come from playing on a mouse and keyboard, you have moving and looting, you have jitter aiming, you have tap strafing, which is singly the most broken thing in the game. You have being able to reload on doors, reload on teammates, reload on zip lines. Can't do that on a controller unless you like really mess up your, your binds, like, like how I have. You can't swap to a particular weapon, meaning if I have my gun holstered right now and I have like an R301, oops, if I have a particular weapon right now, like I have an R301 in a Spitfire and I holster my gun, I can't actually swap weapons. I can't switch to an R301. It's impossible, right? Bunny hopping on mouse and keyboard also is so much easier. You can you can bind stuff to your scroll wheel, which is how tap strafing works. So instead of having to perfectly time a wall jump, like you would have to on, on my bad, on a controller where you slide jump at a wall, as soon as you touch it, you hit jump and you bounce off of it on mouse and keyboard you can scroll wheel so now you don't have to perfectly hit the wall jump just scroll as you're coming to the wall and it's gonna pop you off instantaneously so bunny hopping bunny hop healing tap strafing moving and looting jitter aiming um circle strafing also insanely broken circle strafing is insane significantly more accuracy at range medium to far significantly better input delays that like the list for advantages that comes from mouse and keyboard goes high higher and higher and higher. It, it, it is non, it, it has no ceiling, mouse and keyboard. Now, the only disadvantage to playing mouse and keyboard, up close aiming, probably not the best. What is the only advantage for controller? Aim smoothing is maybe a little bit easier, but, um, oh, my bad. Yeah, aim smoothing is a little bit easier and you have aim assist up close, okay? If aim assist is the only thing that's broken about controller, then slightly fix that, right? But again, like even with aim assist, like it, it is super hard in general just to aim on a controller. And on top of that, you don't even get aim assist in a whole bunch of situations. Like if you're playing in a smoke, you don't get aim assist. Um, if there's like a conduit wall, not a conduit wall, if there's like a catalyst wall, like a veil, you don't get aim assist through it. Right? You don't get aim assist through windows. You don't get aim assist through bushes. You don't get aim assist through trees. You don't get aim assist in a whole bunch of different situations. So the fact that they just, they took away one of the only things that kind of like is insanely broken that only one input can use. And they only, you know, I don't even know, I don't even know what to say. Like, it's just kind of weird. Anyways, it's official. It is official. Tap strafing as of right now is not in the game, but Steam config still work, which means that there is still probably a workaround that people are going to find and this is probably a temporary solution to this whole steam config issue because i find it really hard to believe that they're only removing tap strafing and they didn't say anything very weird anyways if you found this video uh just as weird as i did uh, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe we're still not going to quit apex tap strafing for controller being gone definitely sucks but we're going to be here and we're going to keep coaching and we might even just switch to mouse and keyboard anyways that's all for today hope you guys enjoyed that video and i will see you in the next one remember don't quit because it's only going to get easier from here unless you play on controller on pc because now everyone's going to tap strafe in your face and you can't do fucking shit about it fuck you